Hi, Blake Matthews here with Florida Orienteering. I'm going to talk about using the iOrienteering app to time your runs on our new Royo or run on your own self service orienteering format that we're using for our courses during the Corona apocalypse when we can't have normal in person events. Um, you have to have the iOrienteering app on your phone. I'll separately record instructions on how to do that, but this is kind of the in the field version what you do when you get to the actual site. Uh, at each site, we'll have a, a little laminated sheet posted, typically in a kiosk if one is available or some other central location, and we'll publish the exact what three words address to that spot so you can use what three words to get there. And when you get there, you'll find the sheet posted that has our instructions on it, along with various QR codes. There will be one setup QR code for each course that starts at that location, and then a start and a finish QR code uh, for starting and stopping the clock on the app. Um, so in a moment I'll show you the exactly what happens on your screen. I'll record my screen as I do this, but basically the format is as follows. You would start the iOrienteering app, press the button that says scan a setup, uh, course setup QR code, which is one of these, in this case, two different courses at the top, two different courses start at this location. And uh, that code, you can see it's a little bit bigger than the others. It encodes all the information about the course, uh, what points are on it, the order of the points, if it's a score course, the value of the points, all the information that the app needs to score you as you proceed through the course. You scan that first to load up the course in the app so it knows what points to expect. And then when you're ready to go, uh, you press the button to scan the start. And when you scan that one, that will start your clock running. Then you move through the course. At each point, you'll find another QR code to scan that will punch you in at that control location and calculate a splits time for you. And then finally, you come back here to the uh, finish, the start and finish are the same location, of course, and scan the stop code there in the corner, and that will stop your official clock and allow you to see your results for the entire course. Also, it will offer you the opportunity to upload those results to the uh, database and please do that so that we can keep track of who's done the course and how things are going. This is our way of collecting results uh, on the courses since we can't be there in person to do it.